don't know anything to tease about her backstory with the loss of her family because yeah. it's a pretty traumatic story. What can you kind of preview about that for people who haven't seen it yet? Yeah. Um, well, the character has lost her sister and her niece in a situation that she couldn't solve. And uh, throughout her joining this virtual reality company, her dead sis niece comes out to somewhat haunt her. And you don't know, is this, is she seeing things? Is she going crazy? Is the program messing with her mind? Like, you don't know, is this real? And then at some point she starts, the dead niece starts talking to her, delivering these secret messages and this code. Um, so she, Mara starts going crazy. And it was so much fun playing that. I loved going down the rabbit hole. But she's also having to hide a lot of this stuff from everybody at work. She doesn't want anyone to know what's going on with her. So it's fun. There's a couple really good um, jumps in the show that they've created, and uh, and it's it's a fun ride. They did a really good job with it. I hope people like it. So beyond the premiere, is there a lot of flashbacks, or is it for, especially for her backstory, or is it much more in the virtual reality world we're seeing? It's both. Things? It's both. You know, it's like because of the. Um, the, all the stuff that's going on inside my mind with the sister and the niece and the whole thing there are some flashbacks that help tie things together for the audience to understand but um, you know the show is also very VR heavy and uh, and and it's fun and they did a great job with that they spared no expense <laughs>